एंट्रेंस सिम नंबर 2626 ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड The church celebrates today the memorial of the priest Saint Philip Neri. At this mass, we shall be praying for all your personal intentions. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary and the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Grant, we pray, Almighty and merciful God, that the Holy Spirit coming near and dwelling graciously within us may make of us a perfect temple of His glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, Your Son, who lives and reigns with You in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Miletus, Paul sent for the elders of the church of Ephesus. When they arrived, he addressed these words to them. You know what my way of life has been ever since the first day I set foot among you in Asia. How I served the Lord in all, hum on, in all humility with all the sorrows and trials that came to me through the plots of the Jews. I have not hesitated to do anything that would be helpful to you. I have preached to you and instructed you both in public and in your homes, urging both Jews and Greeks to turn to God and to believe in our, Lord's, in our Lord Jesus. And now you see me a prisoner already in spirit. I am on my way to Jerusalem, but have no idea what will happen there, except that the Holy Spirit in town after town has made it clear enough that imprisonment and persecution await me. But life to me is not a thing to waste words on, provided that when I finish my race, I have carried out the mission the Lord Jesus gave me, and that was to bear witness to the good news of God's grace. I now feel sure that none of you among whom I have gone about proclaiming the kingdom will ever see my face again. So here and now, 
I swear that my conscience is clear as far as all of you are concerned. For I have without faltering put before you the whole of God's purpose. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, Kingdoms of the earth sing to God. down, O God, a generous rain. When your people were starved, you gave them new life. It was there that your people found a home, prepared in your goodness, O God, for the poor. Our response? Kingdoms of the earth sing to God. May the Lord be blessed day after day. He bears our burdens. God our Savior. This God of ours is God who saves. The Lord our God holds the keys of death. Our response? Kingdoms of the earth sing to God. I shall ask the Father, and He will give you another advocate to be with you forever. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, so that your Son may glorify you. And through the power over all mankind that you have given him, let him give eternal life to all those you have entrusted to him. And eternal life is this, to know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I have glorified you on earth and finished the work that you gave me to do. Now, Father, it is time for you to glorify me with the glory I had with you before ever the world was. I have made your name known to the men you took from the world to give me. They are yours and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now at last they know that all you have given me comes indeed from you, for I have given them the teaching you gave to me, and they have truly accepted this, that I came from you, and have believed that it was you who sent me. I pray for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those you have given me, because they belong to you. All I have is yours, and all you have is mine, and in them I am glorified. I am not in the world any longer, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Jesus gives us in the Gospel today a beautiful example of the kind of relationship that he shares with the Father. Acknowledging first of all the greatness of the Father, accepting the fact that the Father had entrusted Jesus with work to be done, and thirdly, Jesus in turn giving glory to the Father 
for all that he was to him while on this earth completing a mission that was given to him Jesus invites us into a relationship with him and the father and the spirit maybe at times my dear brothers and sisters this would be an estranged relationship as far as our part is concerned maybe there are times in our lives when we experience certain turbulences disturbances difficult moments anxious times worry fear suffering tragedy and maybe it's at these moments in our lives when true turbulence hits us and our relationship with the lord gets affected maybe our faith is shaken our faith is weakened and we tend to distance ourselves from god raising a number of questions but it's at these moments that god wants to give us an assurance that just as he never abandoned jesus even while on the cross he never abandons us but remains at our side at all times jesus wants us to continue to be in this beautiful relationship with father son and spirit because it is only in being in this relationship that we will truly experience the peace the calm the joy and the happiness that jesus wants us to live with that eternal life that he promises us to each one of us is for those who remain in this relationship we don't just know a god who is somewhere distant and away from us but a god who is with us let us truly accept this invitation of the lord to enter into this personal and intimate relationship with him him number 48 48 at this time of giving at the stern of give gladly now we bring gifts that have been given by our god and king here is a Dear brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the mighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice of your hearts for the peace and glory of his name for our good and the glory of all his church accept o lord the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through christ our lord amen The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight. that he might make us sharers in his divinity therefore overcome with vastly joy every land every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim
Created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command that we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Philip Mary, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis R. Pope and Oswald our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion and merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. I embrace you as if you were already there. And unite myself wholly to you. And unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Hymn number 258, 258, Lord you are my everything. Strength my 
Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lavina to the Holy Spirit in preparation for the Feast of Pentecost. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful. And kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Act of consecration to the Holy Spirit together. On my knees I bow before you, Holy Spirit. I adore the brightness of your purity, the righteousness of your justice, and the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul. I desire never to grieve you by our faithfulness to grace, and I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard my every thought, grant that I may always watch for your light, listen to your voice, and follow your gracious inspirations. I cling to you and give myself to you and ask you, by your compassion, to watch over me in my weakness. I now stand at the foot of the cross on which Jesus died, and covering myself with the precious blood of Christ, and surrounding myself with his holy light, I implore you, sweet Spirit of the living God, to keep me in your grace, that I may never sin against you. Spirit of the Father and the Son, please give me the grace to say to you always and everywhere, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit for the seven gifts. Lord Jesus Christ, before you ascended into heaven, you promised to send your Holy Spirit to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples. It is a promise you fulfilled on the day of Pentecost. Please grant me your Holy Spirit too, so that he may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and your love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom, that I may despise the perishable things of this world and aspire only after the things that are eternal. Grant me the spirit of understanding to enlighten my mind with the light of your divine truth. Grant me the spirit of counsel, that I may always choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven. Grant me the spirit of fortitude, that I may bear my cross with you and overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation. Grant me the spirit of knowledge, that I may know God and know myself and grow perfect in your love. Grant me the spirit of piety, that I may find the service of God sweet and amiable. Grant me the spirit of fear, that I may be filled with a loving reverence towards God and may dread in any way to displease Him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of your true disciples and animate me in all things with your spirit. Amen. Concluding prayer. Let us pray. O God, you have taught the hearts of your faithful people by sending them the light of your Holy Spirit. Grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things, and evermore to rejoice in His holy comfort, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Spirit. And may the peace and blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Hymn number 409-409, Thy Loving Kindness. Yeah.